Hello there, or as we say in this part of the world, g'day. I'm Roland Hearn, and I want to tell you a little bit about the ministry of the Church of the Nazarene in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, I am the field strategy coordinator for the work here. We have uh, three districts, and uh, I want to tell you about what uh, what is motivating us in uh, in these days um, in our ministry and and in our mission. But before I do that, I uh, wanted to show you a little bit about the city in which I live. Um, and a little bit about the uh, the space where this ministry is happening. Right now, I'm at a uh, rainforest um, about an hour north of where I live in Brisbane, and um, I'm going to just just take you for a little bit of a walk uh, through through the rainforest very quickly. Just show you a, a couple of quick images. But as I'm going, um, listen to the birds. Do you hear that one? These are some of the uh, unique uh, Australian um, bird life. Um, that bird w that you just heard was ca is called a uh, whip bird. Um, and if you listen carefully, it would become obvious why uh, that's the whip bird. Hopefully you'll hear other birds as we, uh, as we quickly um, walk through the forest, uh, the uh, rainforest here today. There he is again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk through the rainforest. Let's head home, back through the mountain village of Montville, across the range, down the hill, to the freeway, where I'll head towards home. To help you visualize where I live, let's turn to Google Earth. There you see Australia and New Zealand. I'm gonna zoom in on Brisbane, and then Moray Field, and we'll zoom right down to my house. Just a couple of photos of the home that uh, we live in as a family. And my beautiful wife, Emmy, on a trip to New Zealand. And a pastors and spouses retreat on the district I serve as district superintendent. Here's the family having a meal together. My mother-in-law uh, in the bottom left-hand corner passed away recently. Next to her is Tyler, then Emmy, myself, John, Kayla, and Brayden. Boys when they were much younger with their dad and the girls when they were younger with their mum. My daughters enjoying a trip to Europe together. Kayla, John, Brayden, and our horse whisperer Tyler make up the family. Brisbane, like much of Florida, is in the subtropics. We have some wonderful exotic animal species and these are flying foxes. They're just bats. This is the Glasshouse Mountains at the bottom of the range that I went up to Montville. Brisbane is on a bay, Morton Bay, and there are some beautiful beaches to uh, sun yourself upon. But much of it is just wetland lands or mangrove swamps. Southeast Queensland stretches from the Sunshine Coast in the north to the Gold Coast in the south and from the bay up to the mountains about three and a half million people that live in this area. And it's centered on Brisbane with a population of about two and a half million. And that's my city. The Church of the Nazarene has 61 churches across Australia and New Zealand in all of the major capital cities, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra, of course, Brisbane, and a number of through regional Queensland. In New Zealand, we have some churches in the regional centers and in Auckland, Hamilton, Wellington, and Christchurch. There are over 30 million people that live in this part of the world. Over a third of them are first generation or the children of first generation immigrants and refugees. That means our worship services can be a lot of fun. Church activities are incredibly diverse and you'll see that diversity reflected everywhere.
The Church of the Nazarene in Australia and New Zealand is rediscovering the joy and wonder of our foundational theology of transformational love. This is Chang Po Ching. If you listen to the song being sung in the background, you probably can't hear it very well, but this is a song that I asked Chang to write for me at the level that a non-Christian could understand, but reflect a confidence in love transforming our lives. That's the foundation of the dream we are beginning to develop across this field. We believe in a church that reaches out and touches our community and reflects the transformational grace and love of our God. We believe that such a church is inspirational and embracing. This is Emin and Jade Chapman and their kids, Caleb and Savannah Zoe. They are the co-pastors of the church at which I attend and I love them dearly. Emin and Jade are immigrants themselves. They're American immigrants. Some might suggest they're missionaries, but they aren't in the traditional sense. They arrived here in this country with a passion for the Kingdom of God, and Emin wanted to complete a Master of Divinity degree at Nazarene Theological College in Brisbane. Now Emin and Jade are working together to create a community of love and grace that reaches out into a broken and hurting world, and they are indeed doing it. They're gathering together that people uh, um, from there, the community in which they live, embracing them, loving them, and believing in them, and drawing those people together, and seeing them find their hope in Christ and a desire to touch the world themselves. Place of Peace, the name of the church that they pastor, um, is seeing new people come, people become members, families touched, they are living in their community, playing in their community, serving in their community, they work in their community, they feed their community, they uh, care for the children of their community, they have clean up days, working bees, um, and they touch families throughout the, the area in which they live. They represent the church that we are becoming in the Australia and New Zealand field of the Church of the Nazarene, where we are loving the difference that love makes. I'm so grateful I had the opportunity to share this story and the story of the Australia and New Zealand field with you. Thank you. That draws you close, but who we are and what you know.